To access the provider area in Practice Manager, click Administration, then Practice Tables, and then Provider. After the provider dialog has been accessed, in the in-house code field, enter the provider code for the provider you are adding. This could be the provider's initials or some other coding method or abbreviation your office uses when creating providers. Next, enter the tax ID, license number, UPIN, taxonomy code, degree, primary specialization, and national provider identifier for the provider in the corresponding fields. You can then check the Schedule Overbooking Requires Approval, Warn if appointment is made with provider other than primary, and Cannot Bill for Services options, if applicable. Next, enter the name, address, zip code, city, state, country, phone number, and fax number for the provider in the corresponding fields. And then enter any additional information that needs to be entered. You can then enter any notes for the provider if needed by clicking the Notes button. The Notes area allows you to enter a note or multiple notes for a provider that can be displayed whenever the provider is used. You can select the screens in which the note can be seen as well as the notification method used to alert you of the note. When finished entering a note, click the Add to List button and then click the Close button. Next, you can enter any billing ID overrides for the provider if needed by clicking the Billing IDs button. A provider billing ID override needs to be configured for a provider when a specific insurance company requires the use of a distinct identification code other than the tax ID, license number, UPIN, or MPI for billing purposes, or when any additional billing information needs to be configured. To enter a provider billing ID override, click the New button. Then in the Billing Form field, select the proper billing form, and then in the Insurance field, enter the proper insurance code when necessary, or search for it by clicking the Lookup button or pressing F3. Next, in the Override Data area, enter any applicable override information, as well as any activation or expiration dates. After the override information has been entered, click the Add to List button, and then click the Close button. The Pay Address button allows access to the Payment Address area, where you can enter an alternative address for which payment should be sent to the provider, if needed. Simply fill out the applicable address information, and then click the OK button. When all the applicable provider information has been added, click the Save button. After the provider has been saved, you must add the provider to a practice before you can utilize that provider in Practice Manager.